Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome at, at Mastercam Mill 3D Tutorials and Toolpaths. Mastercam in this video we discuss about what is the skip pocket is smaller than and how we can use in this any kind of toolpath. So let me discuss about the skip pocket is smaller than. A skip pocket is smaller than is generally used in every single toolpath but mostly when we are doing any kind of roughing operation so that time make sure that you have to fill skip pocket is smaller than parameters properly so in this video we discuss about that how when we have to require to use skip pocket is smaller than what the parameter we have to fill and how we can calculate skip pocket is smaller than parameters so first mainly we are decided that why what is the reason that when we have to require to choose skip pocket is smaller than parameter so let me show you one pick. This is our end mill. In any kind of end mill, when we are using any end mill for the machining purpose, so end mill generally have the cutting fluid at its depth on entire face. And if we are going to using any kind of inserted tool, so that is inserted tool have the cutting edge at the side area, but it don't have the cutting edge at the bottom center area. The picture quality of this picture is not properly because my photographer Mr. Veer Singh is a not a good photographer. So that's why the picture quality as you can see here. This is our inserted tool where I am using that inserted tool which don't have the cutting edge at the center area and yet here we are using an end mill and then end mill have the cutting edge at the bottom area. So let me discuss about that when we are using any kind of end mill. So that case what is happen? that end mill can cut the entire pocket at the bottom area but we, if we are using any kind of inserted tool so that case inserted tool cannot be going inside if there is a, any material at the bottom side of the inserted tool so that case we are using skip pocket smaller than tool parameters make sure when if we are using skip at here in the skip pocket smaller than if we are using as per tool for example at here we are using a 20 mm of ball nose so that case our skip pocket is smaller than is 0 as well as tool percentage value is 0 so that case, that case tool is entering at that entire pocket at here if let me show you in a section view so that case as you can see here in this section view as you can see here that my tool is entering at that the bottom area and the last area where it can be entered and if we are focused on the second one tool path so that case that case you can see here that my tool is not entering at the last area of the tool and if we are using and if we are analyzed on the next next the third one tool path so that case as you can see here my tool is entering only at that one area if we are opening the second one tool path at here skip pocket is smaller than we are using tool percentage diameter is 20 percent of tool diameter it means if we are using a 20 mm of any kind of 20 mm of diameter tool or we are using two tool diameter percentage is 20 percent so that means my tool will never enter in if my pocket is smaller than the 20 percent of 200 percent of tool diameter it means my tool never be entered in the small if there is any pocket size which is small than the 40 mm so if we are analyzing that one pocket size so i just click on this line on analyze entity property so this is the minimum that pocket size is 40 mm it means my tool will never enter below this one area so if i am using at here if i am using any kind of inserted tool so that case i have to input the 20 percent of tool diameter of my tool it means my pocket will be not entered in the 20% of tool diameter. At here, you are using any kind of inserted tool. If you are using a 20 mm of inserted tool, if you are using 50 mm of inserted tool, or any kind of inserted tool, if you are using an inserted tool, you make sure that you have to input tool diameter percentage is 22,000% at here. So that case, my tool will not enter if that tool diameter at the 2,200% th of as per their pocket size. If we are using any kind of end mill, so that case you can input here the 0,0. zero. It means because end mill have the cutting edge at the bottom area, 
so that case you can easily enter in any kind of pocket area in the third one toolpath at here we are inputting that 4000 percent of tool diameter so that case my tool is not entering if my pocket size is minimum than the 60 so this is the way and the this is the way that how mastercam calculate the parameter for skip pocket is smaller than make sure the overall make sure that if you are using inserted kind of tool diameter so that case you have to input that skip pocket is smaller than parameter is 200 percent and if you are using any end mill tool so that case it can be easily cut at the bottom portion so you can make it zero zero so this is all about that skip pocket is smaller than when we have required to use and how we can calculate the skip pocket is smaller than parameter so thank you very much be connected and updated for the more videos thank you